I called Drewski. Yeah, the real owner of the label. Mm. Oh. The real owner. <laughs> you just rock the tees. You more like mm. a floor general, you know. So I called Big Dog. I told my, floor I said, "Hey, I said, hey, Drewski, I don't like my contract right now, man. I'm doing, I'm doing a little bit better. You, you look you at the like numbers. Your, you don't like your what? My, my contract." I like Con- your Tron track. That's what, what I heard track. originally too. You heard Tron track? Yeah, I heard that as uh, okay. well. I heard Tron <laughs> track too. <laughs> Tron you know track. What I'm saying? I called you, you, you see peek the pieces. Look, look at my chest. I wouldn't like a Tron track look, either. Look, look at my chest, Low. I can't see. You know I can't see. You got your glasses on, don't you? No, this fucking light is beaming in my oh, eyes. Oh, well, it's it's certified lover boy. You know what I'm saying? You're about to lose a client. You know what I'm saying? Oh, who are you going to? You got a non compete, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Huh? See, you must not know who Certified Lover Boy is. You, you from gonna, Toronto? You I know. Was gonna, I was gonna let him just, you know, violate. Nah, his nah, yeah, nah. Yeah, I yeah, called yeah, him. You get him on the back. Nah, I yeah, called right. him. I was talking to Drewski. I was like, Yo, 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 yo. I need to get my contract a little bit. And I started freestyling some of my new shit, the shit that you don't promote. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, you're the shit that you don't share on your story mm. or on your Twitter. You just tweet about athletes <laughs> or you got a whole artist. You know what I'm saying? I was telling Juice, I was freestyling shit and happened to Drake to be in the background. And I did my little Canadian accents because, you know what I said? I've been with lead. I know a lot of Torontoans coming in town, so I'm getting my accent. But I was like, yeah, fine. Torontoans? Torontoans? Canadians? Does that sound right? Torontoans? No, it doesn't. Toronto yeah, I residents? I didn't think it sounded right either. Yeah, I was yeah. going to just let them go. You know what else, what else don't sound right? 2%. So why don't, you sign? Huh? Yeah, you low, sign. I, I, you sign. But, but I, I'm doing better, Low. I'm making you more money than ever. You're actually not making many money because you haven't released anything yet. Huh? Because but of you. Let's get this podcast started, man. Peer to Peer Podcast. The video is available on YouTube at Peer to Peer if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube at Peer to Peer. Turn on them notifications. Make sure to go to Naughty Gang, 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 Gang. Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, y'all always showing love. Apple Podcast people, drop yourself a five star for us, man. Naughty Gang, Gang, Gang. Uh, word of mouth people, of course. The word of mouth people are loved. We love them very much. It's big fuck you to Audio Mac and everything they stand for, all their employees and everyone they staff. And everyone that actually uses the whole platform is fuck you to them, too. I feel like I got everybody, man. Also, hit the uh, link in the description, Patreon. Oh, yeah. Exclusive content. Exclusive. Before we keep going, I do want to thank everybody, man. I went on, uh, saw a lot of support recently. I did a couple live, I did a live stream yesterday. On what? On a Twitch. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. No planning, just popped up, just promo on Twitter. 400, 450 people. Dead ass? Yeah, dead ass. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 450 people. Uh, over a thousand unique um, uh, viewers. That's crazy. It is crazy. Actually. Why are you Twitch. talking about my new music? And all and all I did. <laughs> he didn't, John. No, I didn't. No. Uh, Why Twitch? At all, did you? Huh? Why Twitch? Because uh, I just wanted to share my screen and show that um my playoff bracket. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Four hundred forty people. Interesting. Very interesting. And then um after um but why Twitch though? Why not YouTube? Facebook Live. I don't know, I just, people say go on Twitch, so I just want to switch. Interesting. Interesting. And then, um. Are you I, interested by that, John? Then, oh, then I went on, then okay. I went on locker room after the Warriors game. Um, 250, I believe, or 217, I, I peaked at and held it for a long time. So much so that the app actually crashed. I couldn't tell what it was, so I had to tell people to, like, screenshot it for me and send it to me. So 217 people on locker room. It crashed at 217? Well, me you said you crashed out. Me, me and somebody else was hosting it, and they they had like four hundred, and I had like two hundred. I guess the app after like around when it gets close to a thousand, it just starts. That's what you do, walking. huh? <laughs> you the app breaker, huh? <laughs> the app crasher, Mr. App Crasher. So, yes, sir. <laughs> Developers around the world are scared of you. Yeah, <laughs> legend of crashing. So Only no app for the app. <laughs> he gonna so shut it down. I, <laughs> so with that being said, with that being said, I just I just want to thank I want to thank my. Uh, Especially the people on Twitter, man. Y'all rock with me heavy on Twitter, man. Y'all, out of all the platforms, that seems like the one that's not only growing, but being consistent with like people receptive of like things I put out and stuff like that. Y'all still, y'all go to a whole nother platform and still show me love. So I definitely thank y'all for that, man. For sure, without a doubt. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know if you've been paying attention to. Uh, oh, introduce this guy, John. Say what up, dog. What's, what's going on? What's, up? what's going on? You got your ID. Speaking of which, I gotta get my thing here. Um, no, I, I never. They didn't, they didn't take my ID. I got my ID. I mean, you got your. Uh, you got my, your. Most of my stick came back. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm missing a couple of things, but most things came back. That's you know good, saying? dog. That's it feels good. good. You know I what I'm saying? See you back on your feet, John. Yeah, man. 
I'm back on my feet, you know, yeah. on to better things, new car, new label, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, new money, new deals, you know, you know how the year starts, so yeah, it'll yeah. be a hot boy summer for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm planning on dropping a couple albums and whatnot. That's why you know? I ain't putting you out, that's why you shelved. Yeah. Nigga some, call himself hot boy summer. Yeah, don't, 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 don't make me air you out on IG and all the... All the third party you know, TMZ you, pages. You know, you know, Kwame, <laughs> yeah, you know, Kwame Brown me just start yeah. ranting about me and shit like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a call, I'm a call array you. I'm gonna teach you to like, leak some of the details of I'm the a deal. Array you. I'm gonna teach you like Benzino. Shade room teens. <laughs> yeah, don't make me put you on the teens. Have you plastered everywhere? <laughs> Have little fake pages in your ass. Such thing as a shade room team. Yeah. <laughs> and he won't even know. He don't even got an Instagram. You don't even know all the hate know. coming your way. No, that that didn't catch you in public at the grocery store. That's that's the biggest. It's one of the biggest problems with um. With the world right now. Also, before no, I leave, it's not. No, oh, what yeah. the fuck did you just say? It's one That's of one problems. of the biggest problems with the world. Shade it's, room it's, team. It's like, it's like, <laughs> niggas it's don't. Like, talking, niggas, bro. niggas don't have it's food. Like, <laughs> niggas don't have clean you, water. After, after fake after news food, is killing the world. After food, clean water, climate war, change, war, murder rates. Nah, climate, climate, <laughs> climate, climate change. No, the murder, rate, the murder rate going down. What's going up though is people who just know about. TMZ teens <laughs> uh, That's what's going up right now That's becoming a wow. problem Wow Yo I got so many mosquito bites Hey let's talk about Why you decided to go on Twitch I realized that like Wait wait can I, I need to know your rap guy too Huh your Rap guy Well I just got a new person She's incredible Okay Not only did she rap my M4 originally um, And it's been the best rap I think I've seen in, On anybody's car ever Cause it was custom one mm-hmm. And it hasn't had any peeling Like zero It actually has not yet. And I've done crazy shit in that car yeah. Um. No peeling. No nothing. So I'm getting my M4 yeah, rewrap. It's, it's getting up two years, right? Yeah. Yeah. It has not peeled. It's a year and a half, and it hasn't peeled nothing. Yeah. I'm getting my M4 rewrapped. I'm getting my Audi touched up because there was bubbling in like um the front hood, and I'm getting my AMG unwrapped. Yeah, she's incredible. She responds off the fucking rip and everything. You gotta send me her number. Yeah, my, I got you. I got my, you. My new I got you. Rap. You know what's crazy is like that right there. What, what just happened? If these other bozos. That are booked for the next few weeks. These rap guys that don't respond. Yeah. If they just responded, they don't understand the type of traffic they would get. You know what I'm saying? You could open up garages with the type of traffic a recommendation from me would get. No cap. Yeah. Because I do cars all the time. So I'm, I mean, I'm rapping cars. All my cars have been wrapped except my Range Rover. So it's like, what you waiting for that? No, nah, I think the Range Rover is so perfect stock. I don't even no, want to touch it. Pink. Okay, buddy. I think Range Rover. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm so just, how not just do that? The Range Rover yeah. itself is worth like 10K. I'm not dropping five on a wrap for a Range Rover. Yeah, put the bubble guts on the outside. Why not? The Hubba Bubba Classic. Okay, guys. The pink pony. Bubba Bubba, Bubba, Bubba Classic. <laughs> well, yeah. how, how, much, how much is a wrap? How much is like if I just want to do Well, like if you want to do like a, it depends on the wrap. There's some wraps like the more chrome it is, the more expensive usually. Yeah, I'm not a, you know, you know what I'm like. Um, but even if you get like a satin wrap, a generic satin wrap or a matte wrap, it would, it would probably run you about like 3000 Okay, that's cool. Ooh, it's cool. usually mostly labor, though. Okay, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll do that. You, um, you, think, you think I should do mine satin or glossy? I I wouldn't ever wrap a Camry, personally. <laughs> no, but come on. You know. You, <laughs> but you know what I'm trying to do, though. So, um, you know what are you trying joke. to do? If you want a troll that's, car, that's, that's a joke. If you, want a, a joke. If you, you want a troll a car, you need to chrome it out. I don't want one. I can't. I can't. You know, I can't go chrome. I'm telling you, if you want well, a troll know, car, you got to chrome it. You know, I'm not. I can't go chrome. I'm just telling you. Anyway, I just texted her. I'm going to drop off my AMG there tomorrow, and then I'm going to drop off my M4 in a couple weeks. Let me know, though. I'm going to get that. Yeah. Wrap. I'm going to do. I'm gonna redo the grill, too. I'm you black it out? Yeah, I'm, I'm black, I'm black yeah, everything facts, out. Facts, tint out the window. I'm definitely going to tint the windows, though. Okay, man, I get it. You got a Camry, oh, okay. and you want to pretend like I'll it's put, a fucking. Put some rims on you want to pretend like it's a Kia K five. You gonna put some forty twos? I get it. You gonna put some forty twos on it? No, nah, I'm, it, I'm actually gonna keep the. I'm gonna keep it eighteens. I'm gonna just get some better rims. <laughs> it's like he entered the room. Phone rang. No, but I I do want to talk about um you you hopping on Twitch. I've been. I don't know if you've been paying attention to the Twitch sphere. Twitch, aside from like maybe Doctor Disrespect and like a couple other streamers has basically all the streamers that I like to watch. Yeah. So I'm forced to kind of be on there just to see what's popping. I've been watching the Rainbow Six Invitational in the last four or five days on there. Uh, Call of Duty League. Actually, Call of Duty League is a YouTube thing. But anyway, um, so plenty of streamers on there. You know recently they came out with the hot tubs, pools, and beaches section. Which is wild. Which almost seems like an onion, like onion troll, but it's yeah, not. It's very real life. And, and the fact that they're allowing that to just exist on their platform while also getting like like banning people for just just random dumb stuff to me is wild. 
So check this out. This is the fascinating part about why Twitch might not last. Because right now it has culture and that's carrying it heavy. Yeah. Like people just want to be on. Like the fact that you just said, like people told me to be on Twitch. That's why I went on Twitch. Yeah. When I put up polls, where should I stream on? I'm a YouTube guy. How does Twitch win a poll? Yeah. That literally makes no sense. Yeah. But consistently Twitch will win the poll. People just prefer to watch live streaming for some reason on Twitch. And the Twitch viewers are way more hardcore than other live streaming viewers. We just know that to be the case. Yeah. Um, even though you hear about like how Twitch is disproportionately challenging to grow on, how YouTube has a way higher average view per stream. So when you hear things like that, you should immediately think to yourself, hop on YouTube, maybe Facebook Live, but people don't think that. Mm. Um, so I, I always think that's real fascinating, but I don't come and get everyone's take. They got a new category for all the hot tub streamers out there. Kenny also did that too. He's a YouTuber when he would get done watching games, he would jump on Twitch at the end of the night. Oh, really? Yeah, he would actually jump on Twitch, not, not YouTube on Twitch. Um, but that's kind of actually how the whole call game channel started with him reacting on Twitch. And he's like, I might as well just make this into YouTube content and then would upload videos at the end of the night, like around like, like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And um, it would still do very well. People would just be interested in watching mm -hmm. him wrap up things. Um, I, th I agree, though. It's a culture thing. And the more they keep altering and affecting the culture of Twitch, the worse that the whole site is going to do. Like they, they, they're jeopardizing that consistently or they're, they're at least pushing their limits they're testing how far they can kind of push the culture and the people on that on that um on that on that platform and eventually i think it will and youtube is probably the best platform to kind of pivot to if you are on twitch you're right on youtube <clears throat> you know what the fucked up part about this is is like twitch is almost like begging for like a blow-up case where like a streamer does something od and everybody's talking about it we haven't had a streamer do something OD in, a, in some time. But if a streamer hops on that hot tub category and does something OD to the point where, like, all the streamers are talking about it, all the advertisers see it, then that's like a nuclear type event where you just let a very small subsection of the platform derail your whole advertising platform. And if that's the majority of your money is your ability to sell ads... And they sell fixed rate ads yeah. too. So their ads are very profitable and they have a fuck ton of inventory. I don't know how they pull it off, but they have a lot of inventory. In my head, I'm thinking like that sucks for the streamers that are actually brand friendly, but it really sucks for Twitch itself. And they're, the reasoning they gave was they wanted to be an inclusive website, but it's inclusive to who? Like, of course you want to be inclusive. You want all different types of people with different opinions to be on the platform, but Twitch... Twitch not only has demonstrated that they're not inclusive in the past by banning people that have conservative viewpoints, whether you agree with them or not, they get banned pretty frequently. Yeah. But then on top of that, it, it just feels like they're being hypocritical in a lot of their reasoning. Why are we being inclusive to softcore prawn? Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Yeah. That's exactly what that that's is. Really what it is. And if you know that the viewers on the website are young and impressionable, you almost have like a duty to make sure that it's policed better. If you want it on the website to be inclusive, that's fine. But just creating a category for it, I feel like that's not enough. Yeah. And some YouTube had that problem early, like in 2011, and they created age restriction videos. Yep. So you had to have an account to watch it, and it would give you a notification telling you, are you sure you want to watch this before you watch the video? Even with that, though, there's some things that they don't just get age restricted. I've had a video completely removed from YouTube reacting to the best NBA fights. Yeah. So the fact that Twitch allow that, that sucks. Um, but I watched an interesting video from Devin Nash where he was explaining how uh, it would actually impact all streamers that weren't brand friendly too. And it wouldn't just stop at hot tub streamers. So uh, like the rages of the world that swear a lot or just the people that when you think brand unsafe, you think of them, those people will be negatively impacted too. And I guess it's only a matter of time because on Twitch, you can't decide who gets your ads. On Facebook, they make a ton of money because you can get real specific. On YouTube, your CPMs are high because... Advertisers can get real specific on Twitch. They can't get specific. How much money do they even make off of? Like, what's the? Because from my understanding, they don't really make that much money off of, off of like the um, ads that are ran anyway on, on Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, on Twitch. yeah they, they not only do they they do make a lot of profit because on YouTube the CPM fluctuates and they pay you based on the CPM they advertisers get. Yeah, it's not like that on Twitch. My understanding is that it's a fixed rate. So if Twitch is selling at a high rate, they actually keep the profits. But on top of that, when you go on Twitch, you see a lot of Amazon-related ads. 
Mm-hmm. So that's feeding into their own business. Amazon Prime Video has this that released. Like they're feeding their own business with yeah. one of their own businesses. So you could argue that's more beneficial than the cost of an ad. Well, um, I'm, I'm talking about the I'm not talking about the content creator, not how much Twitch is benefiting oh, off of the ad. I, my understanding is, and I don't want to say who said it, but I've talked to people that told me that like the sub money is great, but Twitch takes a large percentage of the sub money. Yeah. Right. I've heard people make like 75%, 60% of their money through ads. I heard the other way, actually. Mm-mm. I heard ads are so profitable on Twitch. And I think that's largely the reason why a lot of people are going to Twitch is because of ads. So I ran a test because in my head, I thought like, why don't you I be... call AIM. Call AIM. AIM's not going to know. Oh, okay. Because it would, it would be the guys that average like 20,000 viewers that know. Call Lowe's. I got Lowe's number. He's not going to tell you his ad rates. What the hell? Call me. <laughs> call Lowe's. See if he picks up and tells you how much money he made live on a I podcast. Think, I actually think he's streaming right now. So you think he can answer the question? If you can get him to answer the question, by all means. But I've heard from a couple of people the numbers that they made through ads compared to subs, and the disparity was crazy. And considering, like, let's say you do an eight-hour stream and you run, like, 40 mid-rolls during that stream, all at even, like, a $3 CPM, like, you're leaving that stream with a fuck ton of money. So then I went on a YouTube stream. This was around the launch of NBA 2K21 Next Gen where I discovered this new Intel and I hopped on a stream and I ran mid rolls. I ran like maybe 15 to 20 mid rolls and I might've made like a couple thousand dollars in ads from that stream, but a large majority, like 60 to 70% was off pre rolls. So all those mid rolls I was running, yeah. were getting way worse CPMs. So I was, I was like, that's interesting. Cause if you can get mid rolls at a regular YouTube rate on live stream, that would be wild. it would make no sense to ever drop videos. Because it would just be way more profitable to just run a live Everything stream just be live and, and click mid-roll every five minutes. Yeah. And when you play a game of 2K, there's stoppages every eight minutes where it feels natural to click the mid-roll button. Yeah. So I tested it on YouTube and it just wasn't the same. It wasn't nearly the same I heard on Twitch. So anyway, um, I think that's a lot of the reason why people are going to Twitch. I think um, in the next year, the brand safe guys are really going to win. Do you remember when YouTube started doing variable ads? And like people get oh, different I know. rates. I know. The the guys who had family channels and kid channels, they were the biggest winners I know. for a very long time. So even I mean shit right now. Um the CPM, my CPM I mean, I obviously every year when you add more content, it gets a better understanding what type of content you run, more ad on friendly, so the way that they can advertise your sector of content is easier. But yeah, my CPM still just keeps inching closer higher. It doesn't it, it's never it's my my CPM's never gone regressed in the past like three or four years actually. yeah yeah but actually mine hasn't either ever since 2017 it dipped dramatically after that first apocalypse and then ever since then it's just been inclined 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 and that's largely because people come to youtube as a destination to run ads now and gaming seems to be one of the number one places they do that so we're lucky there uh tech is higher than gaming tech is probably on the same tier as sports honestly because sports cpms are high I, the, I would argue tech is probably, probably a little higher, right? Yeah. yeah. Higher. And at the tippity top, beauty. is those financial YouTubers. Oh, you, beauty, beauty YouTubers beauty. get great sponsorships. No, uh, I've heard beauty CPM is around probably around where you know what, uh, tech is. You know what the problem with the beauty uh, community is? What's that? It's actually, it's actually well, very you write, difficult. You write finance, though. You write finance. Finance is tippity yeah. top, number yeah. one, by far. How but, did that actually do for you? I'm sorry, I keep cutting you off. But how did that? They, they didn't do any different. Oh, for you, it didn't? For me, it didn't do any different. Just keep, I just think keep, YouTube's keep not going to get bamboozled by my tricks. Keep, just keep saying I, IRA in there. So there's still one. Roth. Don't, don't be Roth. <laughs> Roth. Uh, ETF. Yeah. I've been tricking one day. Just keep saying crypto. crypto. She's <laughs> saying crypto and then you know, you're like, oh, man, they keep saying crypto every now and then. <laughs> he might be onto something, man. man. Sometimes you make a shot, just say crypto. If I ever see like a Chase ad on my, on my channel, I will, my dick would get so hard. <laughs> um, but yeah. Imagine 12 year olds like, Dad, am I, can I open a business account at Chase? <laughs> That'd be tough, nigga. Yeah, nah, uh-huh. uh, it's. Uh-huh. My bad. You're good, John. I can't laugh. Yeah. My bad. No, you're good. You can you're laugh. Good. I just, no, the no, way I'm you good. laughed. <laughs> oh, he good, he good. Oh, I was just warming it up. Oh, okay. Like, it's like a starter laugh when okay, I haven't talked. Yeah, yeah, something yeah, funny is said yeah, yeah. in the next two minutes, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, of, course, of, course, of, course, of course, of course. There you go. Warm it up, John. Get your vocal cords warm. There you Stop go. it. <laughs> nah, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been, anyway. I, just, I do want to wanna stream more, though. Yeah, me too. I do want to stream Me too. More. And I heard SSB NY is about to drop or already drop. So people are going to be on that heavy. Um, 
It's the the streaming landscape is so cool to me, but like all the stuff is so cool. So I just pay attention. Like on when you're streaming, so cool, so cool. There you go, John. <laughs> getting warm, but not. Nah, it's just like I don't know. It's so hot. I saw an article today from Dexerto saying like Ninja's viewership has fallen fifty percent in the last year. But here's why he's still winning. And it's like you don't have to click on it to know it's because he has a fucking Twitch deal. Yeah. So he's still making bank regardless, except now he just gets to stream the games that he wants. You know what I'm saying? But the ebbs and flows of popularity in streaming is so fascinating to watch. Like Aiden is on top of the world right now. There'll be a world where Aiden's no longer on the top. He might be in the top 1%, and he'll get back to being on the top, and it'll be up and down. Like I've been watching Summit 1G for six years, and for like 20%, 30% of his career, he was at the fucking tippity top. But he's always been in the top tier, though. Yeah. It's just it ebbs and flows. It's fascinating to watch. It's a difficult game to win. Good Did Aiden though. have like blue face artists on his stream last? The one that was missing a tooth. Um, yeah. Everybody yeah, been yeah. everybody been uh, reacting to that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what she did, but she did some. Aiden Aiden's been. I've been watching his streams. He's been like, wow. I haven't been able to watch a stream from Aiden. Incredible. In second, but I. I and uh, the CJ so cool and funny Mike beef is still going on. They are having a troll off. I don't know who that is. Funny Mike. CJ So Cool and Funny Mike. I know who CJ So Cool is. Funny Mike used to be 22 Savage. Man, he used to be the guy that used to be 22 Savage. The troll? Yeah. He's from uh, he's from Louisiana. He mm-hmm. used to be in like young boy videos. But he's really gangster for real. He just went he just went mainstream. Mm-hmm. But he really hood. So he was beefing with... Uh, well, he's not really beefing. Over but, what? Well, he was just... Uh, CJ So Cool was talking about him. I guess he thought he was pussy because he's just all Funny Mike now. And he with the kids and what's it called. He forgot that he's really a gangster. He's a murderer. <laughs> he kills people. Yeah, why can't uh, <laughs> That's a wild it's fact to just forget. Yeah, just so that's something to cross <laughs> your mind. Like, yeah, this nigga kills people. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they were just trolling. And, and, and apparently, oh my, my Atlanta Hawks are tired right now with the Knicks. I seen that. My dad's watching the game. He told me about it. Hey, when did they become your Atlanta Hawks? Yeah, what? you never repped them before. Yeah, you I've, I've, you were almost I've, exclusively. I'm born, I'm born here. Dog. Get the <laughs> get the trumpets in the wagon. More <laughs> the bandwagon. I'm, I'm, I'm born. I'm born here. I'm what I mean? What I mean? You never said I'm go hawk. You got any hawks paraphernalia? Yeah, I don't know if you what? have any paraphernalia. Have any what paraphernalia? Paraphernalia. 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 You got some of that? You got some. Yeah, of I got that? some paraphernalia here. Okay, show us. You got a jersey? Yeah. I got, yeah. I don't think you do. Who jersey? Don't, don't take Josh Smith now. I don't yeah, want you to pull out your Al Horford jersey. Yeah, don't, no, say, Joe, Joe, don't say anything from it's Joe Johnson. 01. <laughs> Joe Johnson? Why can't be Joe Johnson? Jordan? Because he's not on the team right now. Is he even playing? Yeah, they were trash in, up until now. I don't give a fuck. You need a Trey Young if jersey. That's your, if that's your team, you buying oh, no, jerseys. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of Trey Young. He the reason they did what they are. No, it's mainly the reason. I'm, no, I'm more of a. I'm trust me when I say I'm more of a bandwagon. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that's exactly what he's that's more exactly. Like. What I'm more are. of a John Collins, Clint Capella type of a guy. He just there. got there, and John, John Coll- Collins is big. No, Clint now. Capella just got there. You know who John he was talking about when he said that, bitch. <laughs> you, know exactly, you know exactly what I was talking about. John Collins, what? Huh? John Collins, what? John Collins, he's straight. He's good. He's good. He more than. But good. you don't got no jersey for him. You support he, him. He more than good though. You got a jersey though. I gotta have you repost him on your story. You made a whole video about just just him by himself. I haven't made a whole video about any Laker player actually in a while. Actually, we're not talking about the Lakers. We're talking about your favorite yeah, team, the Hawks. No, 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 no. My favorite team is the Lakers, and I haven't made a whole video about them. So, oh, so would, your Hawks. So your Hawks. My Hawks are battling against Waffle Man's Knicks. Oh man, I don't know. His dick is probably real hard right about now. Hard, the hard, Knicks. hardest, hardest dick. On the Twitter feed, I Everyone in New you. York out there, like 300 square foot apartments are just excited. Excited. <laughs> watching yeah. out their TV, man. The Knicks, I feel for them though, bro. When the Raptors went from cheeks for a decade to nice, like I was so happy they were just, even in the nice. playoffs. Just nice. Just, they weren't even great. They were just nice because, at that point. Because contemplating like, yo, is DeMar DeRozan not a top two player? Like, what's going on? <laughs> When you start having those conversations with yourself, that's when you know, Yo, like, you're how did Julius Randle not like in the All NBA teams? <laughs> yeah, oh, he's, he's gonna be he's gonna make All NBA teams. He's today. flying out his baby mama. Who? Funny Mike, the girl that left him. See, they're so cool. His uh, his uh, baby mama left him with all his kids, and he's about to fly her out. And she responded. And she agreed a, like, to a very it. interesting beef that I probably should be more. In tune with because yeah. I want to laugh at it, but yeah, this is something that you would do. It. This is a playback video, and that then ass. and then oh, CJ, <laughs> CJ so cool responded. CJ so cool DM uh, funny Mike's girl no response. 
Funny Mike DM CJ so cool girl. She's flying out. How does everyone notice? Yeah. How does she know that? How does everyone notice? Yeah. Huh? How does everyone notice? How does? Oh, he put on a video. He put on a video. Yeah. He he put he showed it. Okay, it's fake. Okay, it's fake. All right. Thanks, John. Thanks for what put it. CJ so cool put a video of him not getting reply. Uh no, Funny Mike replied with his girl. His girl right there watching the DM like. His girl is still at his house. The CJ So Cool girl left. She left. And, the, and took all the kids. Are these like some of the dudes that for like a, a quick second people... No, no, no. CJ So Cool been on for a minute. CJ So Cool. No, 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 no. I'm saying like a part... I, I know you're talking about, but I feel like I know you're talking about. Yeah, you do. Like they probably question like if they were gay or not. Huh? Whoa. CJ, um, CJ So Cool. He's not... He, no, he's not gay. Not, maybe he's talking about somebody. He else. just... He just... He just he oh, just, no. That's the, um, the two... The two... Um, I don't know if they're brothers or not, but the two R&B singers... Oh, Armand and Trey. Yeah, yeah, okay. I thought they were gay back then, but now I don't think they're gay. Yeah, no, no, but I'm saying that's what I thought you were talking about, but no, okay, I don't know you so much. No, CJ So Cool. He had the CJ So Cool land. He, he had the family. Oh, are all they the, the ones who started reacting to stuff first? And yeah, then, he was reacting oh. to stuff with that dude, with the black dude. He started reacting. Okay, okay, I know he, he was big on reacting. Okay. And then he moved out. He was out. huge on reacting. He was huge. Yes, he was like, huge. he was like a pioneer of YouTube shit. I'll give him his flowers. You know what I'm saying? I don't know he's pioneer, but he was. I mean, like he made he made a, a name for himself earlier. I don't know if he was pioneer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really, the pioneer. Of he was right there was with flight. Teens react to. No, he was he was, <laughs> he was right there like reacting with flight. Like he was like big, like like with flight. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? But then it's like he's one of those people that you'll say he used his kids. Like that's one of the people that you probably like. Oh, I'm not I'm not up to him on that low, so I don't know how he does it. But if you no, no, nah, he, he makes entertaining content. It's like no, I'm saying, but if you say he you, if he uses kids, then. Um no like like he used to be like I'm not doing, saying that, though. he used to do reaction videos what you're saying and then he started popping kids out damn he got two twins now he got a couple other kids he got like, I think like, like seven six. oh all right wait no wait he got he got Carnation he got Leonardo so you be watching these uh, vlogs no nah, yeah I watch them I'm not I'm not gonna stunt I just it just stuff that's going did it you just do you say his his one of his child name is Tarnation <laughs> it's Carnation. <laughs> Why it's did carnation. you hear that, dog? Uh, no, because first of all, carnation ain't the real word, so I didn't. That didn't comprehend. It's carnation, me. Leonardo, <laughs> Leonardo. Tarnation it's another would one. Be crazy. He got two twins. What in tarnation? <laughs> That'd be wild, dog. That'd be wild if you named your kid tarnation. How did you hear that, bro? Because <laughs> carnation ain't a word. So when Who I heard cares? when I said when I heard nation. And it's like an R. Like me saying Marcel is not a word. Yeah. No, no, no. But the closest word to carnation I know is tarnation. I'm about to, I'm about to Google it so right that's quick. What I this Hold on. CJ so she cool. She grows up and opens up like the biggest name. dealership in the country. <laughs> Yo, she'd be a legend. No cap. She'd be a legend if she did that. Oh, my. Hey, I, don't, I haven't been paying attention. So I don't know what's going on between these two uh, individuals here. I don't know who the Mike guy is. I've heard of CJ So Cool. Yo, to my future child, man, just be great at whatever you can be. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. Mean, if it means you got to open up a car dealership. A lot of car dealerships. A lot of car dealerships. Just do like Joe Ellis. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. I just realized what that was. When the names are in front of a car dealership, that means that like that's an oh, yeah. individual who just opens up a bunch of car dealerships. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ready, Lo? Bank. What's yeah. up? So he just had two twins named Cordea and Cordiolo Jr. And he also has a daughter named Kamaria, Kamari. And then he has Kamari, he just okay. he has a child named Leonidas, uh, Jalea, and Carnation. <laughs> How do you spell Carnation? C A wait caught up on K A R N A T I O N. Uh, it was legit carnation, but instead of a C, it's a K. A um, what incarnation? Right. Stop, she gonna, stop. She gonna get, I'm just saying, she's gonna stop. Get, stop. <laughs> what would you mean your child that, bro? She gonna get picked on, bro. I just don't get it. Yeah, they they get so creative with how they make funny kids, bro. They was <laughs> man, they wouldn't stop at nothing. Din dinner. You're fat. Eat dinner, fatty. <laughs> God damn. What? what the fuck? That what came out of incarnation? Nowhere. No, bro. That came out of nowhere. Calm she down. She has a bad book report. What incarnation is this? <laughs> I come on, you didn't put no thought in this. <laughs> oh yeah. man. I'm Hope, pretty sure there's a meaning behind that name. Too. Hopefully those two um, black men they, they work it out, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully nothing comes out of it. Hopefully it's just playful trolling for I feel like they get, they're both getting beneficial out of it. They're both getting views off of it. So they both putting money in their pockets. It's just one person look worse than the other right now. 
It may flip, or then maybe they caught each other and said, "Man, you two John, it's just that shit is seasonal. It'll flip immediately. It's going to just flip. one person drop a video, make the other person look bad, and the whole internet's like, whoa. No, nah, but then, funny Mike is just trolling really bad. Like I like see there's a cool. It's just like he's just losing right now. Oh my god, the Hawks won. The Hawks won. They won. That's. I think it was a game one or two. Oh wow! Oh wow! It was a tie one one hundred five one hundred five. That'd be crazy if Trey Young, the guy you're not a big fan of, hit that game winner. I've been seeing Trey, Trey Young hit. Uh, It'd be crazy. Game winners, though, dog. No, I ain't say you haven't seen him hit no game winners. I'm saying seen, the I'm guy a, you're been, not a. Are you I've a big? Are you a big fan of him? I don't have to be a big fan to still. So you're not. A, you're not so a big. You're not, fr- you're not a big fan of oh, Ice okay. Trey the game. Ice Trey. It was Trey Young who hit it too. Everybody said, "Man, Trey Young's so cold." Yeah, Ice yeah. Trey the game. Except you, man. You're not. He's a big endorsed fan. by the Migos. Someone just. I just seen someone say Ice Trey. That nigga's nasty. Hawks just won. Um, my, my dad just texted me. Hawks just won. Another thing, uh, another group of black men that I hope will work out: Kwame Brown, Stephen Jackson. Yeah, is, I'm, is, is is Matt Barnes? Is he a brother? Is he a what? Uh, what? What? what Kwame call him? What Kwame call him? Oh my gosh! Becky with the good hair. Did you have you seen this video? Of Logan Paul dodging these hits in the corner, looking like looking like a young Floyd. I'm not about to no. Looking I'm like not, a young I'm not Floyd. Doing it. You see, you see Logan Paul over here. I'm, I'm gonna send it to your Twitter. I'm gonna send it to your Twitter. He over here dodging these shits like wow. I don't know how fast these punches are, but they probably not that fast. It's, it's it, you would have got hit. I'm not trying to fight Floyd though. <laughs> no, I'm looking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it to. You. I'm gonna send it to. You. I'm gonna send it to. You. Copy link. Let me send it to the boys. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not trying to fight. Look, I'll check this out. Check, check, check this out. Mm-hmm. It's pretty impressive, though. Mm-hmm. It's pretty impressive, though. Of course, it's overtime. Hey, okay, let's get back on track, fellas. Come on, oh, we're on a podcast. It. It's pretty, pretty impressive. A little bit. These are slow punches, John. <laughs> but still, it's pretty impressive. This for a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? He's doing. He's no. He's um. He's imitating Muhammad Ali. Yeah. He does a wiggle for his hips and all that stuff. But it, reaction time not bad though. It might be a good fight, boys. Might be a good fight, boys. That's you not, you betting on it? It's literally I bet. What, okay, John. Since you want to bet on it, fine. We'll bet on it. How much you putting on Floyd? <laughs> How much am I putting on against Floyd? I mean, I mean on Logan. How much you putting on Logan? Uh, that Logan, what wins? I put on Logan that we're going to get knocked out. I'm not putting any money on that either because I don't think Floyd's going to knock him out because that's not how Floyd fights. But he said, I'm going to kill you. You didn't see the threat? He said, I'm going to kill you. He said that numerous times. How much you putting on Logan winning? Um, I'll wash your car. Okay. All right. That's it? That's fine. That's it? You got to make love to the exhaust. I don't even know what that is. And if if Floyd wins, I mean if Logan if Logan <laughs> wins, Logan wins, I will I'll pay you double. Out of obviously out of my account, that'd be kind of crazy. <laughs> well, I just made it. If I made a, if I made, a, <laughs> if I made a, a unilateral decision for both of us, I'll pay you double. If if Floyd loses. If Floyd loses. You know I'll be. What you, know, you normally get paid, I'll pay you double that. <laughs> you gonna shake that? I can't. You know I can't see this light, so I'm trying to shake my hand. There we go, guys. Virtual shake. There we go. It's official. That is long. We got a witness. John's gonna get paid fifty five thousand. Damn. Fifty five thousand. Crazy. You just gonna take my mom out the hood. I'm at the DM <laughs> Logan Paul and say you may have to pop some steroids or something. I got a lot online. I need my car washing immediately though as soon as he loses. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean take it, my- take it off roading. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need my car wash immediately, nigga. Oh you, you know what would be crazy if he got knocked out, like it just like Logan just throw a lucky punch and just knocks him dead out. You know I'll how pay, fast I'll, I'll be at I'll your pay, crib? I'll pay you eight hundred dollars to see that happen. So that's fine. You, you, <laughs> so that's you, fine. you know how fast I'll be at your crib? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fast at your crib to Amazon Prime. <laughs> They're quick, man. Uh, yo. So the Kwame Brown situation, man. I hope Kwame is doing well, man. You have to explain situations before you comment Who? on them, Marcel. Yeah, I just I still feel like he's. I feel like he's doing well, man. Who is that? What are you talking about? He's not explaining it. I yeah, hate I this guy. He's kind of like he's not recording it. a podcast. So for people who don't know, who watch this podcast and never watch basketball day in their life, Kwame Brown, back in, I keep want to give him a date. Oh, to it, but I think it's like two thousand two. 
or two thousand one. Played the Wizards. Yeah, he played for the Wizards. Oh, I, I seen, I read something about him. Two, okay. In the two thousand one or two thousand and two <laughs> draft, he was the first overall pick. Um, highly recruited out of high school, projected to be at least you know uh, upcoming um, player in the league. Turned out to be what we like to call in the industry a bust. And um, since then, he's been, he's been the butt of a lot of people's jokes. Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, a lot of people in the media who critique basketball, et cetera, et cetera. But finally, he's had enough. So he's been going on a rant for the past, like, month, you know, responding to people, telling them how he really feels. And um, unfortunately, while this is happening, on all the Smoke podcasts with um, – Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes, they had Jeannie Buss on there. Jeannie Buss was making a remark about how the Lakers received. Jeannie Buss, who was the um, who was the owner of the Lakers, and she um, picked up that role after her father passed away. She was telling a story about how the Lakers acquired Pau Gasol. In that transaction of acquiring Pau Gasol, Kwame Brown was traded. However, Steven Jackson made it a point to make sure, well, both Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes made it a point to make sure it was clear that it really wasn't a two-man trade, referencing that Kwame Brown was so bad of a player that his name shouldn't even be referenced in a transaction because he was a negative. From that, um, yeah, that's how bad <laughs> that's how bad they wanted. From that, um, you know, Kwame had enough, so he got on. He got on his uh, no, not his tractor, his truck. Got in his truck, made a response, and in the response, he was just being completely disrespectful to Matt Barnes. Calling him Becky with the good hair, referencing the infidelity in his uh, household, calling him, you know, he's not a real man because he let his teammate fuck his wife, let his teammates raise his child, how he was locked out of his own house. Damn. Kwame had enough, dude. <laughs> Kwame had time today. <laughs> And Kwame's been dealing with this for years. I, to, yeah, I think I, if it's who I read about, he played with Michael Jordan and used to get like bullied and he used to beat him up. I don't know if he he didn't he didn't play with Michael Jordan. He um he what, you're, what you're saying though is partially true. Michael Jordan owns the oh, team yeah. in Charlotte. Back then it was called the Bobcats, and through acquisition, the Bobcats picked up um Kwame. Michael Jordan believing that he could be the Kwame whisperer, you know, get Kwame in, work him out a little bit. Reach the true potential, Kwame Brown. Unfortunately, that didn't work. But the way that Michael Jordan does that, oh uh, yeah, Michael Jordan is not is by them. bullying men, by <laughs> yeah. bullying grown men. Yeah, when you yeah. reach your true potential, uh, you miss by a layup, you get stuck in the mouth. Yeah, yeah, that's well. that's that's how he does it. And so that's where that came from. There's you're also gonna, numerous stories about Kobe. How Kobe used to bully him as well. You're gonna be great or get eight. Um, that's yeah, how it's gonna be. There's stories about Phil Jackson, Kwame Brown, a lot of ex players with Kwame. Yeah. So it's not like it's not like it's just media members, also players. Yeah, he didn't really play that much. I thought he said in his little post. No, he played. He played at the um, end. Like once they get blowed out by thirty, they just put him in. They said Kwame. No, for for a portion of his career, he was actually starting. He was starting. Oh, he, was, he was starting. He was a headliner because people thought that he would be someone at some. Point I don't remember him. When did he play? When was this? <laughs> I never. I never heard of him. <laughs> who who did he play for? He played for the Lakers. He played oh, for wow. the Wizards. He played for the. Um, Bobcats, he played for the Golden State Warriors. You got any highlights? He has one highlight for the Lakers that is uh, it's actually pretty funny. So he has a highlight. Is it enough no, no, for a no, video? That, that, I'm not going to go deep into the story, but the story is basically that Kwame was having a really good game, um, but Kobe thought it was best if he's the one who closed out the game. Kwame, um, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Phil Jackson, like, no, no, no. You know, everybody needs reps, to obviously, to get more comfortable in the system and close out the game in the triangle offense. Kobe fought it but said fine. And then down the stretch, Phil is calling plays for Kwame Brown. And Kwame's just fumbling it and just like turning the ball over. And Kobe keeps looking at Phil like, I'm telling you, stop giving him the ball. And they call a timeout. They go in a huddle. And even Kwame looks at Phil. He's like, you yeah, know, I don't want the ball coach. He's going to give it. Like he just opened. This is him having one of his better day games. He's, he's having a really good game. And even he's like telling him, like, no, I don't want this. Go, go ahead and give it to Kobe. Oh, you can't say that around Kobe. Kobe will eat it up. Coach, he don't want it. Take him out. You can't say that around Phil Jackson either. You can't, you can't be say that around lineup. Him. But to but to say that in a huddle with a bunch of other men that you're on a team with and tell that to your coach and openly admitting like you don't want this part of the game. You can pay millions. What do you mean you don't want this? 
What, what you mean? You don't, all right. <laughs> so so that that I mean it's it's more to the story, but that's essentially that's how that, it started. That's that's, that's a, no, it's been started before that because he was viewed as a bust before he got to the Lakers. So he came in the league a bus. And he came in the league projected high because he was the number one overall. So, it's, so when he first his first he season, was like after his f- second and third season it was like oh yeah it's, this is not panning out for Kwame. And then since then what a lot of teams do they they pick up top recruited picks who may not have worked out, telling themselves like oh the reason why it didn't work out there is because of the team, not because of the player or the talent. And then they get proven that no it's it's because how of long the he played in the league for? Over a decade. A decade. Yeah, he played over. I never heard of him. <laughs> That's ten years. How'd you not hear about this? I never, it never, never I heard, heard about this first overall um, pick. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a YouTuber right quick. Oh, <laughs> is it gonna be highlights or just drama pages talking about the downfall? No, right of now it's gonna be just drama p- pages. But let me see. A, a, mo- a month ago, it would have been a bunch. How do you spell of, it? Actually, actually, Kwame, um, K W A M E. Oh, here you go. Kwame Brown with all the smoke. Let's see. How you know how his name is spelled? We mispronounced it. Heard me say Kwame. Oh my god! Two minutes. Guess how long his highlight tapes are? Three minutes, two minutes. You know what's so crazy? Kwame Brown is the first play I've ever seen someone make a low light for. But it's it's a five five years ago, and the quality is so bad. This is probably when a Galaxy Note One came out. <laughs> Let me see what it's talking about. Hold on. <laughs> Just so people know, there weren't even Galaxies back when Kwame first. God right, damn, the niggas. So it's actually, it's actually, Motorola it's actually, yeah, it's actually further back than that. Nigga. The niggas that that is Kwame's top ten career plays. He's been a decade, ten years. Career. <laughs> Career plays. He's trying to do this job. <laughs> career plays. I'm, I'm about saying. to see what he's talking about. Let's see what let's see what he's talking hey, about. He's bad, dog. I don't know what to tell you. He's he's not that good. Okay, here's number ten. No, they're not playing Fort Minor. <laughs> yes, they are. Ten percent luck. Twenty percent skill. Fifteen percent concentrated power over will. Five percent play. Y'all remember uh, that song, man? NBA Live. Kwame, I mean, he he has a highlight, but Kwame's a first. Hey, John, don't get the whole podcast cut ready. Right? Mute these lowlights yeah, you're watching. Yeah, <laughs> Kwame is the literally he's the first player I've ever seen have a low light tape where people somebody specifically pulled out the bad plays for him and then they made a they made a Lamelo whole, Brown yeah. got longer mixtapes than this. Who? Lamelo Brown. I mean Ball. <laughs> okay. <God. laughs> let's let's, be, let's remove ourselves from the basketball aspect of it because you clearly don't know. Dang. Anyway, niggas making fun of him. He got tired of it. He started responding to them, and he started getting really personal. Like I said before, when it comes to. Matt Barnes, you start talking about how him and Derek Fisher, his ex-wife, had this whole quorum amongst one another. Obviously, his child was in it, too, because Matt Barnes has, has a child. He then also t- t- said that um Steven, uh, Steven Jackson pays for pussy. So there's that. Steven ja- Who's Steven Jackson? He's another NBA player. Steven Jackson openly said that, yeah, I do it, so it doesn't matter. I don't care. Everybody pay for pussy. No, 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 no. He's no. talking about literally, like, I go to the strip club, throw oh, money, oh, pay escorts? them, and come back home and have sex, yeah. But he's he's Stephen Jackson openly missed like yeah everybody knows I used to do that it's, he he doesn't care, um, what what else he said oh yeah he said he won he had problems with Stephen A Smith because he had you know problems with that then he also um got upset at at Charlemagne because Charlemagne came on Bre- the Breakfast Club and alleged that there could be mental issues that run through his family and you don't want to push him to that point because a brother of his. Actually, two brothers of his, of his caught some bodies. Those bodies being their um, their ex wives or ex girlfriends, and what? they went to jail for that. Yeah, they, they, they both their girlfriends. Yep, I tried to not say that word because you know we like to be monetized on this channel. But oh, <laughs> they both made their girlfriends go away forever. Yeah, and then also his father <laughs> also went to jail because he he buried a woman alive. So yeah, I wouldn't mess with him. That's so, it. but no, he's allegedly. He's these all well, allegedly because yeah, Kwame. I mean, I'm um, not Kwame. Uh, Charlamagne was telling these stories like they were folk tales, and he couldn't remember the. <laughs> it details. do sound like a folk tale. Yeah, it does. And I was like, "Why are you saying they, this? You're not even. They don't like women or something. This. That's what you're trying to get at. Like, no, he, he was. He was trying to get at like, don't push Kwame because it's clear that he's getting pushed to the limits, and he's responding now. But then, kind of find out, Kwame is like those brothers of mine that you're referencing to are people I've never met before because his dad had children outside of his him and his mom's marriage. So he's like, how are you gonna like, how are you gonna like fault him in the way that he's r- responding on the internet to people who actually did something in real life about it, mm. and kind of reference him to potentially being a violent person, mm. which I found to be very interesting as well. Interesting. Um, I say all this to say, 
A, I get I shout out to Kwame for finally saying something, man. You know, just speak your mind, dog. Just let it go. Let it rip. He called Matt Brown the uh <laughs> He called Matt Barnes uh Why are you uh, saying he, Brown? I don't know. <laughs> He called Matt Barnes Becky with the Becky good with the good hair because he's a he's Hispanic he's some um, Hispanic um, origin. He called him Becky with the good hair. He called he called he started calling him boy because he's from South Carolina he from the South. He That's said right. boy, hey boy, you better boy? watch your mouth. Look here, watch your mouth, boy. Hey boy, hey, sit down, boy. <laughs> Literally, no, no, no. But like not not a not an Atlanta accent, like a Southern twang accent, like like yeah. that type of boy. Yeah, like come here, boy. Hey, come here, boy. Like that type. Everybody eat that food on your plate, boy. I made that. <laughs> but more, more aggressive and more disrespectful. So he just started going on this. Shut rant. your damn mouth, boy. But you like that? Some, some, some similar to that. Oh, okay. Yeah, he started calling them the b words and all that stuff. Anyway, I say all that to say, yeah. Shout out to Kwame Brown, man. Speaking his mind, man. You know, he's speaking his mind. People been saying stuff about him from decades. Now he's he finally clapping back. Ten now years the later. whole. You know, also crazy. He's clapping back about things that are. Actually, true. That's the thing. They were saying things about him that are true as well. Like, you know, how he wasn't living up to the expectations of being a number one overall pick. Well, he was number one pick? Yeah, he was number one pick. He was a lottery pick, and he'd been in the league 10 not years. A lot, not just a lottery. The and I still one. don't know him? He has any trading cards? <laughs> yeah, he does. Everybody has trading cards. Oh. Literally the worst player. If you've ever been in the league, you have a trading card. Oh, wow. How much does this go for? Um, probably, probably real cheap. Real cheap. I thought about doing that. Super collecting. affordable. <laughs> what if the, I start collecting? Everybody collecting bus player I, player yeah, cards. Yeah, collect, collect bus um, playing cards. Not playing cards. Trading cards. You better and, watch um, out before he air you out. And um, yeah, no, I, that's why I was like, let me let me tiptoe yeah. around this something yeah. before he airs you <laughs> out. Before he air you out. Because <laughs> because that nigga might dig some shit up on me and just go on the internet yeah, and start dude. airing me out for real. Start for airing real. you out. You know what I'm saying, Kwame? I love you, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Shout out to Kwame, man. He's speak, you know what I'm saying? It's all love. He's speaking his mind, man. It's all Kwame love. speaking his mind. It's all love. It's all love. You want to be on the, on the podcast? You made it. I did it. Know. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say. You made it there. I did it. Yo, Kwame, you know what I'm saying, Kwame? If you want to be on the podcast, let me know. I don't think you're a scrub. Look, Jalen Rose is right when he said- There's no way you can like, be in the league for 10 years and be, and be useless. Yeah, there's he no just, way. He was just severely underperforming due to high expectations. He needs to see that, recognize that there's something he could have done about it. He's That's been a under, lot, though. He's been under the tutelage of the Michael Jordans and the Kobe Bryants, so there's really no excuse. Um, and the reality is, is, you know what I'm saying, not everything works out the way it's supposed to. If he was going to be a Rose, player. If he had the knees. Oh, man. I don't know how Derrick Rose stripper, still functions. He would be like a team of man. He would be a six-time MVP if he had I the knees the, of a stripper. The knees of a stripper. Yeah, she's played. He played in the league for 12 years. Oh, yeah, that's Lord. a long time. You got to be a decent player to play Wa- in the league for 12 Washington, years. Um, Washington to the Wizards to the Lakers to the Grizzlies. Hey, Marcel. To the- hey, Lo. How many points was he averaging? Like eight. How much you want to guess? You said eight? Yeah, about how eight. How much you guessing? He been in the league 12 years. About eight. That's a lot. of. If he's averaging eight, I can make it. I'm yeah, putting up four. You can't, John. No, he would you literally can. drop you off, John. He would destroy you, John. He would destroy you easily. We're not doing this again, eh? Yeah. You <laughs> almost got me. You, you don't want to start? <laughs> you almost got me, John. We can. We can. You almost got me, John. We can. He, he, he averaged, bank, he averaged six and a half. Yeah, it sounded about right. Six and a half low. Sound about right, man. So you he's said, averaging no, John, 50 stop, on you. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, stop. You're they not, like it. I, not, I, no, I, no, no, no. Oh, last I, video, I, they was I, mad. I, I, they, was like, they was like, John is so incompetent. <laughs> it's like, I love John, but he can't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I was laughing so hard. I was just like, man, yeah, I want Kawame to be on this podcast, man. So chill. So we can tell his side of the story. I just think he does have a very interesting story because for him to play for that many teams and that many players, because he played alongside a lot of great players as well. So for him to be on that many teams, that many great players, and organizations, he had to be good at practice players, at least. He had to have he had to have amazing stories. I'm pretty sure he has amazing stories. He must be man, fire at practice. The stories I heard about some NBA players. Yeah. Can you imagine the amount they have in their heads? Yes. What? I don't want to hear. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine like the amount of things that the NBA play, and NBA players, especially back like the later you go back, the crazier it gets. That's crazy. Yeah, hey, Matt, the, the stories that they openly tell are already like some of those stories are borderline crazy themselves. Imagine like the shit that they don't say. I feel bad for him, low key, because you know all that all that hate that uh, what's his name got Danny Green from missing the three point in the finals. Kawale Stuff Bra- like that is excessive. Though. I'm not gonna lie. Kawale that's, Brown, that's, that's, that's yeah, they was threatening his life. That's what I'm saying. But think points. about Kawale Brown being in the lead that long, just averaging eight. 
He made sixty four million. <laughs> you don't niggas get a death in his career. He made sixty four million. Ah, uh, damn. damn. So let's say he 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 was in Cali for a good part of that. Let's just assume forty percent is gone in taxes, right? Let's say he's thirty. It's thirty. He made thirty million. This is okay, let's cut just, in half. No, that's too much. Let's Still say high. forty million. Let's say he got forty million now, right? Damn. He definitely bought at least ten million dollars worth of homes. I could say probably about ten million dollars worth of homes. Probably got a couple properties. You know what I'm saying? He 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 has a tractor we know about. A tractor um, and a I don't pickup think he truck. Probably did. Someone like Kwame, after like the first two years of his career, once he realized it wasn't going to click for him, I bet you he started saving. Yeah, it's so sad. People wait till like something tragic happens before they start saving. No, but yeah, I know. Yeah, but like I, for I, him, I, I would. That's a he probably he, got. He probably was like, I'm not damn. turning out to be the player that I thought I was. So let me just. That's start tragic. Saving. Like, low if your accountant told you like like Kwame, <laughs> you <laughs> average six points. You got to start saving, my boy. Yeah, I give you three more years. I feel he made he made he stretched it out to a whole. Decade and some change. some change. I feel for him because part of me wants me wants to think like, yeah, just go easy on him because like he's a human being at the end of the day. But the other part of me is like, like you're in the public, so when you do something poorly, you deserve to be criticized as such. What do you think Kwame's trying his rookie year from the field? He's six eleven. Um, he's six eleven. I hope it's about forty five percent at least. He's six eleven with his arms limbs. He's probably like seven nine. That doesn't just because your arm length is long. That doesn't make but, you taller. But I'm saying you should have a better, a higher. He's from Georgia too. Shout out to him. He's from. He's from he was, here. He was. He, he went to high school in Georgia. He was born in South Carolina. <laughs> he averaged um, seven points. No, no, no. What he shot from the field. His percentage is thirty-seven. This is lower than forty-five. It's actually close to thirty-seven. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he's shooting half court shots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dog. Yo, but Kwame, come on the pod, dog. Come on the pod. So, would you rather be a, a a high a high expected player and be a bust, or just be a, a be a somebody you think is gonna be a bust and get no recognition to come out and shine? That's a no. dumbass question, <laughs> John. Would you rather John. have a shitty situation well, or yeah, a I mean, great situation? Well, I mean, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. My what bad. are you my saying? Bad. John? How would you rather start? Would you rather come into the league with a lot of pressure? Like you're good, you're a good player. Would you rather come in the league with a lot of pressure? Or come in the league just barely making it. Like, you just scout and you just work really hard. And I would pressure. I would pressure, yeah. Because the pressure? Because, unfortunately, the way that it works, that you could actually be really, really, really good. You, you'd have to be really, really, really good to probably get the proper opportunities for you to finally get in that situation. If you are not scouted correctly, you could end up being overseas. It could be, like, years before you really get in the league and True. truly start to shine just yeah, because people aren't properly and um, we had we had Cinco on the podcast he done told us a couple times about yeah. how it really just a lot of politics going on behind the scenes it is. so yeah. when you're on the end of the rotation he said it is it's just like you even tried out for NBA <laughs> <laughs> it, it is, is dog <laughs> trust me I know I should have been making all NBA teams by now nigga. he's holding me back so would you rather <laughs> would you rather be or uh, would you rather be a really good player on a bad team or a decent player on a really good team I'd rather be a decent player on a good team. No, I'd rather be a really good player on a bad team. You always get traded. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, ra- I'd rather be a decent player on a good team because because if you're a decent player, you can play better and look better than you probably actually are because you're on a good team. Because there's more weapons around you. They you're, got- also like, you're also like real susceptible to change, though. You know what I'm saying? If shit changes... You go from decent to mid now. Now you go from mid to below mid. Now you go from below mid to quantum. But, but I mean, mean, but I, but I, if I can like stop, bro. <laughs> but saying you getting like you getting like I, low but playing if I time. Can prove that I'm a quality role player yeah. in the league. Then there's always gonna be a team. That's yeah, be, I agree. There's yeah. everybody needs those fillers. Like Kyle Corver just been filling for so yeah, fucking long. So long. <laughs> Mike Miller. <laughs> he made, he made I didn't even know Mike Miller was in the league like a year he's ago. Still playing. Like, still Kyle Corver is still playing. And Mike Miller. Mike Miller's not anymore, this, but like a year ago, he was, he was still playing for the Nuggets. I was like, I didn't even know this thing about playing. Like Andre Miller, man, he's been feeling for ooh, yeah, 18 been feeling for years, bro. Is Iguodagua still playing? Yeah, Iguodagua's he's still, still feeling. Right? Not only is <laughs> he feeling, playing. but he's getting a hefty paycheck, yeah. bro. Nigga, not only is he feeling, they put him on a, uh, uh, he put on the Grizzlies to fill, and he's like, I'm not feeling for this team, dog. What about Mike Beasley? <laughs> no, he's, but he used to be feeling. Is he still in the league? No, no, Mike Beasley, no. He, played, he went overseas. Again? Yeah. Oh, man. Is Vince but, Carter still playing? He just retired like oh, last, last year, year, and he was oh. filling for the Hawks yeah. at forty some years old. Bro, I used to pull up to the when I pulled up to the games, people would get so gassed when Vince Carter would show up, and Vince Carter would every time you hit the bench, you'd have like eighteen leg braces on. <laughs> like, <laughs> like that's how old he was playing the beginning. Like basketball. cyborg, yeah, I swear he did. It looked like they were up there doing procedures on us. Everybody else is just chilling. All these young players on the bench chilling. Vince Carter has sixteen procedures being done. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga came in like Michelin, man. Oh. <laughs> a helipad. 
Pass compression. I, I say all it is to say though. What? I think Kwame has a great story to tell. I think he should use his platform accordingly. And I say it over and over again, man. Just let that man live. What's dog. he gonna get out of this though? An- I mean, another- he's getting. He's getting for someone who didn't upload for like on YouTube for like two years. Now his channel now gets consistently like over a hundred thousand plus views. Yeah, hopefully he can maintain some of that. Like he needs to get people from. Interested in drama to interested in him. He needs yeah. to just surprise people with like wisdom and stories. Just Story. occasionally just throughout tell, the rants. Tell stories. Because he's played with too many great players to not just have stories. Yeah, he got plenty of stories. Can you imagine like... You tell imagine? Him, telling old Kobe stories like the <laughs> mid-2000s? Oh. Yeah, you can just tell. You can go on every weekend just tell us a story about how Corey just, Kobe used to yell at niggas. Yeah. 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 Um, the inner workings of a... Kobe cussed me out because I laid the ball up on the wrong foot. He played. He played. With, he, he played with <laughs> Iverson. Title go crazy. He went. He went to Detroit. Played with Iverson, Chauncey Billups, Rip Ooh, Hamilton, Iverson, um, Rashard, 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 Rashid Wallace. Oh, Rashid. So he he played with he played with them too. He went to Golden State and played. Yeah, come on, man. You got stories. When he, when he played Golden State, when 20, 2012. The twenty twelve is uh, Monte Curry. Yeah, Curry. Clay. Curry. Oh. Richard Jefferson? Man. Richard Jefferson. He got stories, dog. He Kwame Kwame Richard got stories. Richard Jefferson. Kwame, Kwame, Kwame can tell How stories. How did he just hear four names? I know. <laughs> He's stuck on Richard Jefferson. Kwame Kwame has stories. Because R- Richard Jefferson also has stories. Oh, yeah, without a yeah. doubt. Him and his bald head, man. I'm sure I could just, I could just really see it in there. He was on uh, Kenny's um um thing. Yeah, Richard Jefferson seems like a very likable guy. Yeah, for sure. Very likable dude. Hey, um, man, Kwame, good luck, bro. I think you could be handling this a little bit better in terms of like your own gain. Um, I don't think you see that just yet, but the attention you have is very valuable, man. You got to make something of it. Uh, good luck with that. I hope it goes well. You know what I'm saying? And I think people will stay too. If you start telling the life of a bust. <laughs> right life, a book. And just embrace that. Your YouTube channel name is Kwame Brown Bust Life, isn't it? Yeah. So just embrace that shit, just bro. Just embrace it. They just call tell you a life. Well, hey, bro. Kwame, when I gained 160 pounds live in front of people's faces on the internet, I just embraced it. You know how much money I made from fat memes? <laughs> just monetize it. Might as well. Mm. If you're yeah. going to get made fun of, you might as well make money from it. Yeah. And entertain people along the way, man. At the end of the day, it makes people's days a little bit better when they make a joke about you. Yeah, right. And it's book. not because they're horrible people. It's just because, like, you've had moments in your career that are worth laughing about. But it's like, we all have, though, bro. We all have, like... <laughs> to say that casually say that is such a wild thing. But we all have, bro. We all have. So it's not like... That don't make you much different. What's some you book just, titles? The oh, life, my God. He could drop a book. The Life of the Bus. Busted. Yeah, if he dropped a you book... You said Busted? Busted. A, bust it. <laughs> <laughs> a star the that lost my challenge. shine. From Jordan to Kobe, How the, I Never Made It. <laughs> the Forgotten Star. I know, really, really like this. We're joking, but there's also like, there's so many ways to pivot this. He don't have to, like, he could just stay chill. 12 years averaging six. (laughs) He had a year he averaged 10 points. Hall of Fame at practice. Hall of Fame at practice. (laughs) Hall of Fame at my heart. The star that lost his shine. Oh, Oh, shit. High expectations. The number one pick that never went first. (laughs) Hey, uh, anyway. Oh, man. It's three hey, minute highlight. I, 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 to be honest, like, I know what it's like to be criticized on the internet. He's been in the league for 12 years and has a three minute highlight. <laughs> three minutes, 25 seconds. But I don't, I don't know what it's like to, to be criticized at this level. I assume it's fucking not fun. I get why he's clapping back. You got the right to, bro. You know what I'm saying? Do your clap back. Just, you getting a little personal, though. It makes you look weak. So just be careful on that. And Can you hop imagine, on. no, that's me so serious. Can you imagine, you're not a cameraman. Get like B roll footage of like players they think are stars. Mm-hmm. Just like just literally just high definition B roll footage of Kwame Brown. Do what? What? No, but they no B roll like legit like like they'll get like a whole like the cameraman will come up to a player's like legs and they'll scale all the way up to him. Oh. They do like they'll do like shit like that like oh. cinematic shit like they like for LeBron it, it looks dope as hell. But imagine if there's like what question they cinem- ask him after the game. They wouldn't ask him anything. They probably ask Kwame, people. Kwame, Kwame. Hey, Kwame, Kwame I know you shot 32% five <laughs> games straight. Talk to us about what went right this game for you. Uh, Kwame, Kwame, Kwame. You played 27 minutes and had four points. Talk to us about it. 
Why is it so easy? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hey, let's move on, bro. Kwame, Kwame, I heard that you didn't want the ball. <laughs> you pay millions to want the ball. Why don't you want the ball? <laughs> Kwame. Kwame, 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 come here, come here, come here, Kwame. Can we get a word with you? you imagine CNN face. news, CNN news. Every <laughs> shot Kwame was missing, every turnover. Man. No, actually, that game, this, 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 this video of that game, Kobe in the middle of the game was hyping him up because he was actually having a really good game. For for Kwame Brown, <laughs> so what it was he's like fourteen points. points yeah, he's, yeah, he's probably 15, like he's 15, like fifteen 14. and twelve. He's like, oh man, Kwame's doing good, man. What they the like hell? Like, the like commentator, I actually seen the game. The commentator's like, oh man, Kwame's really piecing it together. Like they're actually like, <laughs> you know, you <laughs> piecing it together. <laughs> he's really piecing. <laughs> you know, you know, how, like, and there's know. another one. Eleven <laughs> points for the young Kwame Brown. He's really coming along. Look at the smile on Kobe's face. He's really hey, going crazy. Hey, you know, you know how like commentators, like like home court commentators, they just like they just say oh. the most positive shit in the he world. He probably made the halftime report. You know, you hear the dun 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 dun. Yeah, Kwame is the fucking halftime dun, dun. report. Like a couple you know, minutes. One of those comparisons. Last eight games combined, fifteen <laughs> points. Doing this? Today, fifteen points. <laughs> you see him running in slow mo to TMT. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> A couple minis, a couple free throws. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. A couple easy layups. Kwame Brown seems to have a good first half. Now it's really devastating. <laughs> Fourth turnover. Kobe looks pretty mad. And, like, the other team's broadcast, like, <laughs> I don't know how they're looking. <laughs> I don't know what happened in the locker room. Kwame Brown came out throwing I'm, up houses. I'm so when we get done this, I'll, I'll show you, the, I'll show you the, um, the game I'm referencing. At the end of it, when Kwame... Like he fumbled the ball and turned it over. The Laker, the Lakers announcer's like, "Oh no, Kwame!" <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's another uh, turnover for Kwame yeah, Brown. They, they always, oh no, Kwame. six turnover in that half. Lakers call a timeout. Phil looks heated. No, if imagine him doing that and Phil still telling Kobe. We gotta go to him. We gotta keep going to him. We gotta feed him. Like, nigga, feel like you dumb, nigga. Yeah. I'm see they mentioned. keep feeding Kawame Brown. Looks like he has no stomach. The food is not going in. <laughs> Another turnover. Oh, man. Anyway, um, uh, the silver lining is he's made plenty of money. Yeah, um, a lot of money. And now he has an opportunity <laughs> to kind of build his own platform. Ooh. Like doing his own thing. You know? I got rich making six. Not figures, but points. I got rich making six. The book on Kawale. A biography. Uh, a biography. I know about those. Man, that's crazy. But I, that's actually not bad. Like that's people, nice. people are actually trolling. But if I can make sixty million, oh, yeah, making yeah, six that, points, that aspect yeah, yeah, of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm not even working my ass off. Like oh, I was supposed yeah. to be great, and I ended up not being great, and I end up getting you what I needed. Still made sixty million. I still made sixty yeah, million to convince people to still give you millions of dollars every single time. Convince just organizations like, yeah, hey, we'll pay you millions. That was the team, dog. It wasn't me. Yeah, that was. At that point, that's why I don't know why people making fun of Kwame. Like, like, your, your favorite team kept paying him millions of dollars. Yeah, niggas making made six almost I'm sixty something him. million. Like, all right, all right, all right. Niggas made the dream. Yeah, he was paying Bargnani. <laughs> You're right. That's worse. <laughs> that's worse. That's worse, dog. Bargnani's no, it's another. Not. Yeah, he's better. No, he wasn't. Sorry. I don't know why. Yeah, I read, that he... should never came out of my mouth. Caleb, please edit that out. <laughs> oh I, I don't want to clip of that to appear nowhere. Oh, oh, that shit me... needs to be deleted from history. Barnyani might have actually got paid more. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Barnyani? Barnyani was dropping like 20 points per game at one point, I think. He was? And yeah, then, but they but they were convinced. They were like that one season was 20. He's like, oh, yeah, that's definitely who that nigga yeah. is for the rest <laughs> of his career. <laughs> Look at him. He's shooting up right now, man. Is it horrible percentages? Is he making bad decisions? Are we losing games? Yes. <laughs> but that 20? That <laughs> that's any, you got it one that time. That inefficient 20? Oh, man. <laughs> that inefficient 20 got my dick rock hard, man. It's 73. Does he have any kids? Kwame? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You think it's worse for his kids? Probably. To I say, know. hey, don't your dad play any man? Yeah. Look at his highlights. <laughs> Stop. Stop, John. Cut it out. Um, you know your dad averages six points. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's go to something though. Like, because I don't want I don't want Kwame Brown. And I I'd, I'd learn about the history of the other kids. I'd be like, your dad averages two bankruptcies, bitch. Back up. Oh <laughs> yeah. Your dad shot twenty seven percent. Your mom cheated on your dad the other night. That's what your mom did. <laughs> I, I know because I had the binoculars on. I have the evidence. I'm gonna blow up your family, bitch. Oh yeah, then he said he also exposed DJ Envy too for cheating on his wife. Yeah. Yeah, and, and allegedly having a child out of the marriage. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's what he did. Oh, my oh, God. I didn't even He's that. not playing no games. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't. Kawhi no was game. not playing. Kawhi was just letting everybody know what's really about to happen. Wait, wait, a year. He's coming with no smoke for Stephen A. He's been on the up and up. Huh? <laughs> 
Stephen A has had nothing go wrong in his nah, career. He hasn't. But Kwame was definitely like, mm, yeah. he shit on Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless was shit on. He's bu- he's he bus only shot on the NBA players. He did. These bus jokes y'all done got off for all this decade. I'm about to start getting real personal, bro. Think about in the locker room. When you, when you think about six points, oh, that's yeah, three then, baskets. Then Steven Jackson told a, almost, he told like half a story about how Kwame, back when they were playing together, he was like, man, you was the one who's always telling us, like, why didn't we get along off the court and why we didn't hang out more? But he made him sound like real depressed. Like, I was like, man, y'all, y'all niggas getting personal right now, dog. Yeah, I can have it, though, man. Hey, shout out to them NBA athletes who had to keep their body. In good shape all year round. That is shout wow. to LeBron. Think about a kid. Yeah. LeBron is like I keep thinking about like man, LeBron's not only playing, but he's playing at a high level. He's definitely dropping forty thousand points by the end of his career. And that's just, hey, you know yeah. what I thought about? Definitely a kid at the game. I actually think it is definitely at this point. Hey, y'all, close your eyes and just picture this: picture a kid at the game screaming. The game's over. It. Kawhi Brown dropped four. Um, and the kid screaming, and Kobe's behind Kawale. He's like, "Yeah, hey, can I get your shoes? Can I get your shoes? Hey, can I get your shoes?" Kawale said, "Yeah, me." It throws the kid the shoes. He throws it back. So you drop four of these. I don't want it. I'm talking about Kobe. Oh, right. I can't. Niggas say he didn't want your shoes because you dropped four in them. For helping us visualize that right there, John. Huh? Thank you for that. Would you want somebody's shoes that drop four? Oh, speaking of Twitch, how how, how is Hot Tycino doing? Uh, I haven't watched any of his wages yet, okay. but I heard he's doing good though. 10k plus. Okay. Yeah, so he's doing splendid. That's, uh, that's great. Overall, like, shout out to Tyson. Took took his um took the break. Yeah, took actually, break, can we talk back. about that a little bit? I watched. Did you watch this video? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So Tyson is a uh, NBA 2K content creator. Um, one of the biggest for years now. Uh, but he he got really hot when he started wagering people for money. So he did this thing since he lives out in like New Zealand or Australia somewhere far, and he came to North America and he just went on tour. He would come to the east side and play everyone on east servers. He went to the west side, played everyone on west servers. And he made, like, a whole show out of it, playing out of, like, Airbnbs and hotels and stuff. And they would get a fuck ton of views. So, like, he kind of popularized the idea of a wager. And then he would go back home and just upload videos. And so he just went on repeat doing that over and over again. Eventually, uh, he he went on his stream and he said he got offered a massive, um, I don't know if he said, did he say the email? Okay, I know the amount. It was a lot of money. Uh, <laughs> He's about to fucking- <laughs> it was an obnoxious amount of money. But in the video, he said he rejected it because he saw more growth potential on Twitch. So I guess he's... And really, that's that's a good decision. You don't want to take yeah. the short-term money unless it's just like a throwaway thing you're doing on the side with extra time. If if it's something you're spending time and you want to build it, you want to build it in an area where it's going to last. That's how you make longevity. So he made the long-term decision. You actually don't see a lot of people make the long-term decision. And when you're being presented with a boatload of cash up front, it's difficult sometimes to make that long-term decision. I know a lot of people who end up making that short-term decision. So he committed to just streaming on Twitch and not taking no deals anywhere. Um, and I'm happy for him, man. Yeah. And streams are doing fantastic. And but he said something interesting in the video where he said, like, if 2K doesn't make me happy, I'm just gonna like stream whatever I want. And I thought I was like, oh, that's fascinating because that's it's risky to stream some other stuff people don't know you for. But we saw the likes of Aiden pull it off. Like if if something else is hot, you could potentially make that pivot and transition and blow up with it. Um, we saw people do it with Fortnite, man. In the 2K community, plenty of people just lashed onto Fortnite and blew up. It don't mean it's a sure shot, but. There's an opportunity for a pivot when there's another thing also hot. Uh, right now, there's nothing really that hot except GTA role play. So unless he wants to role play, uh, ain't nothing really pushing like that. And Aiden kind of hit the jackpot with his SSB server. So it was like the perfect pivot for him. He did a lot of those dates, those online dates. The dating stuff blew up for a while. And now he just has all these rappers on his live. So it's like the new thing where he just... And I saw him in A Boogie's replies talking about some, hey, let, let me get you on my stream. And he's just getting everyone on there. He had Lil TJ on there. Yeah. He had um, T Grizzly do a skit with him on there. Like he had plenty of rappers come to the Lil Tekas and all. So anyway, it makes me happy to see somebody succeed in a way that's not the way I'm doing it. Because it just lets me know that like, there's so many ways to win. And he's showing the world this is the one way to do it. And you could take a year-long break, come back, and still body it. Yo, that means there's really nothing that you can't accomplish. You know what I'm saying? You just have to be clever and entertaining enough to be able to pull it off. So I'm glad for him, man. I'm glad for him. Um, I'm, I'm happy for him, too, because um, it's always interesting to see, like, how um, content creators pivot or at least trying to expand. Expand is probably a better way to say it. 
expand the content that they create and stuff like that and how well they do in other aspects and other terms. Because I do believe that there are some people who do great in one aspect, but they kind of fail in, in others. And it's that's fine. It's not like that's a bad thing. But it's much more interesting to see how well someone else does in another space. And so it's great that he's he's um expanding in, in those regards. Um, and I think he's going to be successful at it. It seems like he definitely has the... um the charisma to do that and continue to grow his, his brand and his identity as, as a content creator being more than just the, the wager guy. Um, so that's great for, for Ty, you know, you know, nothing, but you know, all, all respect for him and, and just continue to grow. I, I hope the same for a lot of people on Twitch and, and other um, 2k creators. And at some point it, on, you know, I mean, it may, it may just get old to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and a lot of people have been grinding really hard for the past two, three years, you know? So I, I hope, you know, the same for like Cheeseaholic. Um, I think Davis was kind of in that same space as well. AMP he kind of does a little bit more things, kind of takes him out of that. Um, I see Peter trying to do the same thing. Hell, even um, even annoying. I, I think like I would I would like to see more people do. Other t- <laughs> What's up, yo? I'm not, I'm just saying in general. Oh, just do just do more other type of content because I do believe I do believe that again just the the repetitive the, the repetitiveness of it gets really old really quickly, especially when you're grinding at that level consistently. But annoying is doing he's doing other things. He's doing um um GTA and stuff like that. So he's not like even he consistently does um um two K as much as he does. Which is a good thing. I don't think people should be um penalized for uh, expanding their palette with the content that they create. I don't think yeah, they, they usually are. Annoying is a good Unfo- example of someone Unfortunately they are yeah. Annoying is a good example of someone who pulled off a, a really like forced pivot almost where he just kinda quit two K when Fortnite was hot and played Fortnite for a long time. Yeah. And even though he was good, but he wasn't great, but he still was entertaining enough to attract viewers, yeah. which I thought was evidence that you don't actually... Because in my head, the best way to blow up on Twitch is to be top 0.1 entertaining or top 0.1 good at the game. Yeah, Annoying was top 0.1 entertaining, but he wasn't top 0.1 good at the game. Yeah, But he would perform in these wagers and amateur matches all the time, and they were still entertaining to watch regardless of um, skill level. Yeah. He was almost like... Um, I don't want to say almost like Los Polos because Los Polos is like purposefully bad. Like he's just atrocious. And also Los is like top zero zero point point zero 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 one percent entertaining. Like yeah, he's without like, a doubt. He's like peak level. Yeah. Twitch is such a f- difficult place to grow in because a lot of people is like top 5% or top 50% or top 70%. Yeah. That's not good enough. Yeah. So when you got top 0.1% at something, then now you're moving, man. Like you see... You see uh, the Asus of the world or the Rogues of the world if, if, who just, like, try hard. And when Valorant mm-hmm. drops a new season, they're pulling 20000 on that because they're great. Shroud is the best example of someone who's just fantastic, top 0.1% great. Um, so mm-hmm. it just be great at something. Y'all, people going to want to watch you stream. Yeah. Be great at something, man. Dr. Disrespect has a whole large production. Shit is highly entertaining. And the dude, I can't. What's the dude name that was on on Madden? He was trying to like up his production. I forgot his name. But I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah. The guy who was doing the most. With the yeah, green he was screen. doing the most. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, stuff like that though is like unique. massively interesting. And unique. Yeah, and I love when people just push the bounds of content creation because it does open up a new, um, a new uh, scope of what you can or can't do in, no in the field. It just opens things up, and it's also it changes the platform so much so that it challenges. Um, other uh, not only challenges other content creators, but also get gets rid of some of the bad content creators or people who aren't putting that much effort because they can't keep up with the next thing that's happening. And that's I think unfortunately I think a lot of older content creators fell off on the wayside because of that because they weren't able to keep up with the innovation that was happening in the, in the space, or at least they weren't uh, forthcoming with it, and so they didn't they weren't able to keep up while the space was changing right before their eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, shout out to Ticino, man. Um, great to have him back. Great content creator, probably one of the very few streamers I would watch pretty consistently playing 2K. Agreed, one of the only people that yeah. get me to watch a stream of 2K. Yeah, because I couldn't, I couldn't do that very long. I was watching Lowe's do some my team wagers. That was entertaining as fuck. Um, oh yeah, shout out to Lowe's. Sometimes he has a, um, Flight would be on there. I watched Flight play. Shout out to Lowe's. He is a um, uh, an NBA weekly um stream now. Oh really? Yeah, I think. Well, actually, I think with Richard Jefferson actually. That ass. <laughs> That's a, what a wild collab. Let me hit my, my, my nigga real quick. All right, we get it, bro. You have his number. 
Like, oh, you got to flex his number yo, on podcast, saying, yo, bro. Yeah, come on, dog. Nah, we get it, man. You got his number. Yeah, my nigga, real quick. I get it, dog. You you've been meaning to, you've been itching to call him. Just yeah. call him. Uh, I'm a uh, no, I'm gonna call. Just him. call. Just call him. Nah, we, 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 just show us you got his number, I man. Ain't, I ain't call. Come on, just, man. I hey, just John, read the tweet. Don't you want to hear Los's voice? I'll read the tweet, dog. I do want to hear his voice. I'm proud to announce that I have a new show hosted by yours truly with NBA champion Richard Jefferson and tonight's show writer CJ. I'm not going to pronounce his last name. It's our new weekly basketball show on Twitch. First episode Thursday, 520 at noon Eastern. That sound like Lowe's voice, not Lowe's. <laughs> sound like Lowe. Yeah. Um, you may call him? I'll call him. All right. I, I, Don't call him? All right. Call him. No, bro. Call him. Call him? Yep. You mean congratulate him? Sure. He probably never answered that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, and go, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll call him real quick. Oh no, we kind of want to wait on you. I know he's gonna answer for you. Oh yeah, for low. This is this is big. Are you texting him ahead of time? No, no, no. I'm uh, trying to... <laughs> hey, bro. I know I hit you in a while. Hey, I need you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna call you. Don't let me down. <laughs> I hyped it up. <laughs> I'm the legend of winning. <laughs> don't make me lose this one. Don't make me the legend of excuses. What did I say? The myth of excuses. The myth of excuses. excuses. I like that. Low, are you gonna call him? Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh, you got you so many paragraph. phone numbers that other YouTubers like you just can't even sift through them to yeah, get to Lowe's. It's a lot. Bro. Boy said, "Hey, who Lowe's. else you got in your phone, man? Who else is there?" Oh no, wait! You're you smi- calling for him? You should see the smile that a text. <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> yo, 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 hold on, bro. Yo, should I go on though? Nah, you're good. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. Don't worry about it. Because he didn't respond to you. It's fine. I just didn't want to embarrass you on. No, 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 no. He he responded to you. I mean, you mean call him? Did he respond to you? No, I'm just saying. You mean, I need text him. The, so who are you texting just there? I'm not texting nobody. Bro. I call him, bro. You know what? Call him. Call him. Yeah. He probably never answered. Uh, he will. I I have faith, man. It's Los. Uh, he's not streaming out. Let me see what's going on. Hit, hit our good boy Los up, man. <laughs> see what he's doing. You, Let me double you, want, check. you wanted to, us to acknowledge the fact that you had his number all podcast. Nah, you, 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 got, call, you want me to call him? Or yes, now? yes, I do. We got he got you got. He just text mm-hmm. you to okay. You have our attention now. Let me call him. Let me call him. It takes two buttons, bro. Yeah, you could have been called him. him. Okay, put on speaker. He's on speaker. <laughs> he's so awkward. No, nah, I'm just saying, man. If you want me to call him, I'll call him. Oh wait. Oh, she had to sound like the guy that said, you really talk to her? Call her then. I do talk to her, but you, she busy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she she ain't be picking up when I call her. I had it on Bluetooth. Okay. okay. No. no. Oh, that's a lot of rings. It's a second ring. It's a lot of rings. No. Yo, chill. Oh, Yachty said, I, I bought buy, buy my so bros. Chill, 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 chill. Look, Yachty said, I bought if my bros. If you went straight to voicemail, I'll be, yeah, I'll be crazy if you actually went straight to voicemail. Damn, that's a lot of rings. What Lil Yachty say? He said, "I bought all my bros a ring because they answer on the first ring." Your call has been forwarded been to a automatic voice messaging system. Wow, damn! At least you got his number though, man. He might not yeah. ever hit you back, but you got, I got it, his though. number. I got his like number. Like a fanboy. Yeah, <laughs> you like a thought. <laughs> a boy just gave it to you. He, he didn't give you a text. You know what he probably you know did? He's doing something. Man. He probably was playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two, seen it ringing. So I just hit him back later. <laughs> oh, he texts you? What would he say? Read it out. No, he's just busy. He's busy. He's busy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah. dog. Y'all sweating. Yo, y'all sweating me? Damn. I'm like, I ain't got no connections. Damn. Damn. We don't even know if that's him, really, because we know. just heard a phone ring. So. I heard it go to voice. You got his number? I don't have his exactly, number. Exactly, nigga. Cut it. I'm not. I'm, I'm connected I'm, with the, some of the biggest streamers on Twitch. Who bro. else you connected with, man? YRG? Call him, right him right now. Call him right now. Call him right now. Oh, he's streaming, so I ain't trying to do that. Call, him right, call him right now. Why? He'll love he, to hear he that. He loves picking up on stream. Call him. We good. Call him. You say you big no, YRG. You YRG, right? You one of his we top good. recruits. You you YRG, I'm, right? I'm not definitely not gonna bless him. I'm not gonna bless. I'm not gonna have his. Oh, it's a blessing bless. that you're calling him. I'm not gonna have his presence now. bless this channel. Why do you say that? Why do you say because that? You hate this nigga so much, dog. I don't know who led you. To I don't know why him. you try to switch it like that. Yeah, don't switch it like that, bro. Come you, on, you man. You hate that man so much. Yeah, it don't make him. no sense, Check on dog. Him. It don't make no sense. Are you dog. gonna call him? I'm not gonna call him. No. You got his number though. 
I'm not gonna call him. Bro. <laughs> okay, nah, I don't okay. think he got it. I don't call. think he got it either, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hey. That'd be wild if I had if this was not um, Lewis's number because this nigga gave me a picture of me. About the Instagram Facetime call. That would be fucking wild. That would be no very cap. wild, actually. actually. That'd be intense. Man, um, bro, it's looking it's looking bad for you right now. You look like a fan. Anyway, boy. shout out to um, but shout out also shout out to Los though. Um, I know he's he been wanting to do a basketball um show for a while. Yeah. He, oh, really? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shout out to Los. Um, putting that together. Hopefully, um, see what you're doing there. The, the chemistry between him and RJ, we'll get the little right? Maybe answer the first or third <laughs> wing. Shout out to Los. You know what I'm saying? You doing your thing out there? You know what I'm saying? You answer, but you know what I'm saying? You you really you. Doing oh no your no, thing. no no for real! Shout out to Los on that. Yeah. Oh gonna, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. He's pretty. He's he's busy. Booked and busy. <laughs> but get it Los is, is definitely well, he busy. Makes, he make time for, for, for the for he the people. Time for things that's important to him. though. yeah, that's what everybody do. I mean, I mean, he's texting back. So I mean, I don't know what the. Yeah. Oh, oh congratulations you. Wait no wait he, Did he text you Or hit you with the pre-made text Oh he didn't hit you With the can I call you later Did he He didn't Y'all, y'all literally saw me Hang up the phone And he texted me After I hung up the phone what wait, Did he oh, hit you With the, the pre-made, pre-made text, text though I'm busy with pre-made Oh that's on the new update. That's on the new update. That's not a new update. It's right under. <laughs> hey, you know it's so right crazy. under. Can you know I so call crazy? you later? I learned, I learned, <laughs> up, I learned oh. about the pre-made text from this nigga. Because oh. I didn't even know that it was a pre-made text until obviously I got an iPhone. Yeah. But you this, nigga, this nigga is the king of pre-made text. The new iOS, you can add, you can you can download custom pre-made text into your original ones. You have the original Apple give you plus your custom ones. Oh, so you can put the fire. I'm busy or you know what I'm saying? That's like when you send the fans and stuff, people call me that I don't want to answer. I just hit them with the I'm busy. So they know, you know what I'm saying? I, I get it. F- I get it, low. I get it, low. You're so I get it, dog. Yeah. Everybody's hitting you. And like, up, man. And like most he times, be on your phone all podcasts. And like bro. most times, you don't I, have I, to I use I your hands. You kind of just like you can do it from your AirPods or yeah. Tell Siri. Yeah. You know, very hmm. cool. Fredo, shout out to Los though. I know, I know he wanted to do that oh, yeah. for a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. that's great. Great look for yeah. him. Yeah, shout yeah. out to RJ. RJ's definitely um, yeah, he's somebody who's a little bit more in the uh, space of like one more shout out for Los and pushing. And one more for Los. Pushing the uh, pushing the culture forward. <laughs> Come on, one more. One more <laughs> form. You can may I answer say, on the fourth can ring. I finish what I'm trying to say because it's not just Los. Also, because I feel like Richard Jefferson. What? Because Richard Jefferson does a great job of trying to be ahead of the curve. He trying he's, to get he's Richard first, Jefferson. Get his number, number two. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, Yo, Richie. <laughs> Yo, RJ. Yo, RJ. 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 <laughs> you got him yeah. by initial basis, man. Oh, boy, hit see it. Oh, Richard but. was was ahead of the curve, man, because he he not only was really deep with the podcast space, but also he collabed with Kenny. Now collab with um Los, you know, he's he seems like he's ahead of the curve mm-hmm. in terms of like the new type of media uh, when it comes to sports and and how to reach new fans, younger fans, and stuff like that. So that's you know that's great on both of them. I really want to know what it looks like because when me and Los was talking about it, I didn't necessarily know how. I'll be talking um, a lot. You say I talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got. I'm not, like, I'm not going to take the full like scope a, out because he was, he was pitching you or something like y'all that. Y'all had like a I, first long conversation. See, I, I knew, see, this thing. Hey, I hey. knew, I knew, I know hey. this nigga. I hey. know this nigga. I know this nigga's really about to say. I know this nigga's really about to say. Go ahead and say it, nigga. What are you talking about? Since you really just want to say it. Oh, okay. I don't I don't know what you think I'm going to say. Say I, it. I was just, I was letting the the thoughts flow through my head. You know what I'm talking about, John, yeah, right? Know you're talking and I was just thinking to myself like, and he fluctuation of thoughts. It, exactly, yeah. exactly. And this shit happened. It was natural, but I just thought I like I thought like damn. I thought Lowe was a NBA commentator. You probably should have like. But I guess like maybe you weren't good enough for it. So it's, and you sent him a pretext. You said, "Hey, I'm on a podcast." I, I know. Why did I send him that? I'm glad he like consulted the, the with full, you to go get Richard I guess, Jefferson. I guess I guess the full scope of it was. That yeah, me and Los was, was supposed to do a um a thing first, and then that oh, kind of, that fell through. And he dubbed it. <laughs> no, 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 and no, no. no, no. It. Cause you said you're supposed we were, to. We were, we were literally. And you, when's the next date of y'all doing it? Are you just saying again? When's the next time y'all gonna do it? What do you mean? When y'all reschedule do it? You say y'all supposed to? No, no. Well, we was supposed we we're gonna do it in the beginning of the season, but the turnaround for the beginning of the, the be- are they in the plans? Are they they're, they're in the playoffs. They're in the playoffs. They're, they're in the playoffs right now. The, the, turn, the turnaround from one season to the next was so quick that that fell apart. Um, and then we just how many games in the season? It was a short season, like sixty. Oh, yeah, 60? sixty. Yeah. Um, long story short, though, I knew. I, anyway, I just know he wanted to do it for a long time. Uh, I hope it's, I hope it works out really well for him. I'm, I'm gonna support it. Um, 
And again, it's just more more content <laughs> being pushed out, more, hey, dog, more innovation. I like how you oh, slid that on, in there. Man. I like how you slid that in there. Yeah. I love what you're doing right now, Los, and y'all I'm going to support it. Hey, y'all <laughs> No matter if you answer or not. Hey, I'm I want to be, let's be clear, because niggas <laughs> claim that I, I'm a hater. <laughs> niggas claim that I'm a hater. You and are, the yeah. first time I I gave, an, I give annoying props all the time. I give annoying props. You like, oh, oh annoying? You can props annoying? That's now, surprising, but you're so regularly now, hating, no, so I just stop. Yeah. So then I give Give it a props to Lowe's. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? You, whoa, what's going I on? I dog. You wanted to pick up your phone calls, man. I understand. I didn't want to call him. You want to pressure me. You peer pressure me to call him. <laughs> <laughs> you peer hey. pressure me. Hey, it's we not We can't peer pressure to call a friend. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't get peer pressured to call yeah, a peer a now. On peer to peer. Come on now. No. Yeah. Um, man, what, what's your thoughts on that, bro? What you call me? I said, what's your thoughts on that, bro? For oh, that. On Los not answering? What's your thoughts? Oh, I thought you called me Bay, dog. <laughs> bro. I said, bro. I said, what's oh, your thoughts on that, bro? I heard something different. I'm not going to cap. What's my thoughts on what? Just the whole having a, uh, a weekly talk show on. I just also realized that on Twitch, that, that that space doesn't exist yet for the NBA. Richard Jefferson, I don't know what kind of guy he is, man. He had to be like a real trolly type of guy to get along with Los. Like, Los is going to say things that are incorrect and wrong. Purposely. Very frequently. And RJ's going to have to be able to correct him. And then, like, he had to know how to play with the chat to get the chat to meme Los. Because that's how it gets entertaining. I think he can do that. I don't know if he can. But I I'm saying I don't know. So hopefully he can. Because then if he can. Also, RJ be is a very trolly person. Oh, okay, say less. It He's looks like troll. we got nothing to worry about. I like tuning into those uh, when you're on there. You know what I'm saying? When you're on there. I, I like I'll be tuning into them. I'm like, oh man, look at Low on there with Los, you know, getting along because he knows so many big streamers. And I just think to myself, like, man, this is top tier entertainment because Los just be talking. <laughs> he don't know what he's talking about, but then he'll like say talking points and then like hope that you don't question him on some shit he doesn't understand. And when you do, uh, the chat just really goes for it, man. So it was always great content. So I mean I know you didn't get the position that you're trying to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're such a, you're the biggest hit I've ever seen in my life. It's it's crazy how much you I know, ate. I know you didn't get the position, but I mean, it's I, crazy. I'm, I'm glad you could be happy for him. Yeah, glad. That's just so like I just love innovation, man. I love you know innovation. Saying? Like people that you know what I'm saying reach out to people and they don't respond back, but you still support them and love everything they do. I'm That's what they saying. call those people. Fans, yeah. Mm, yeah, indeed. If you would call me a fan for supporting. Uh, one of the kings out there, man. Our, our, one of our content creator kings. I guess. What did you say? Your brother or your friend? Yeah. You just say. Oh, king. I see. Why is he above you, you? Like a you king. a king? You a king? I'm a that's, king. That's your friend, though. What? Well, lead is a king of editing. You know. And taking trips. <laughs> <laughs> taking trips. Uh, um. Yeah. yeah I, I, but I, I don't mind supporting. Um. A fellow king, a fellow no, brother. Man, that's you know? why. That's why I bought that Jake Paul fight, man. I just want to support that fellow king. Are you there for real? No. <laughs> I didn't even watch it, bro. <laughs> I didn't even uh, watch it. You gonna uh, watch that Logan though? Oh yeah, I will watch Logan. You're watching that sure. one for sure, without a doubt, without a doubt, no doubts. A, 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 a thousand percent. I'm actually gonna watch the Jake one too. Who is Jake? I'm fighting? going to the fight. Who is Jake, Jake fighting? fighting? Isn't he part of that TikTok YouTuber thing? Oh yeah, okay. I think yeah. right. Oh, I'm when watching, is that? Where is that at? That's in Miami. For real? Yeah. When is that? It's coming up. Yeah, it's next oh, month. It's coming up. Yeah, next oh, month. I'm pulling up me, Davis, Peter. Sneeko? I think a bunch of other people. I think Duke and it might be coming. We all know. Sneaker. Are, are tickets still available? Uh, probably resale. Oh. Um. Uh, anything else before we wrap up the podcast? Anything That's we, it, bro. Hey, thanks for listening to the Peter Peer Podcast, man. It's your host. We'll call Los one more time. Just yeah, yeah, you, you know, real quick before I'm we end the podcast, not about to spam calling nigga. just twice. Why, y'all, up. y'all kings, right? <laughs> you for real got me fucked up. You think I want to spam calling nigga? Oh, now you're That's too your good. Though. You're too good to spam call. I call, I call you twice. Yeah, yeah, because you a fan, nigga. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. You a fan? You definitely a fan if you double calling it again. But you answered on the second call. Because I ain't want you to call me three times. Call Los. That's the worst response. <laughs> you just block him. <laughs> That's why if I block this nigga. You know who don't answer the phone? You don't answer the phone. Who? Me? Me yeah. or agent? No, I always call it Low. I know Low gonna answer. I don't Thank be you for saying that Because for whatever reason yeah. I, I, I have to explain to people Like out of, out of our relationship Out of the, out of the dynamic 
I'm the better communicator. And I'm not even a That's good communicator. That's not even communicator. good communication, bro. What are you talking about? That's not even good communication. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? Poor K? What do you say? Poor K? That's not Come even again. good communication. Huh? That ain't even good communication. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Oh, what are you saying? Como de Garcon? Huh? Oh, that would have to be good communication to answer the phone to communicate. No, but communication, bro, that's in person. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! Talking about long you distance know. communication, you might be better whatever, at that. Whatever it is, you don't. You don't actually, do that no, because you'll be responding to emails in time. Neither emails. Actually, something I do is just that I don't reply all, and you don't get the other part of it. All right, you need to start. That's bad communication, then, bro. I gotta be in tune in the thread. I guess. Not. I guess. Correct. Mm. <laughs> now double call. So who, who, does, who, does, who does better? <laughs> who, does, pick, who does better, John? I'll pick up. Man. Low for sure. Thank you. And I'm not even. I don't yeah, even. I'm picking up calls. I'm picking up calls. And I don't, I don't, and I, and I don't, but hey, I'm not by my phone, though. And, no. and I don't even claim to be a, a good communicator or a texter or. I'm or not phone by my phone, Marcel. This is not fair. When we're chilling, you are on your phone more than me. That's why you pick up more calls. I just keep my phone on me. Me too. You just said you don't keep your phone I won't be on looking you. at it, though. I'll be looking at it. It don't ring or vibrate? Like it's here, bro. But what? I got The vibrate on, on both of my phones are actually not that good, but especially my iPhone. The vibrate. You don't have the ring on? what he just said, bro. He said the vibrate on his phone is not too good. <laughs> have you heard someone say that before? <laughs> Nigga, when you, when you record or you're, you're trying to, you don't want to be interrupted, you, you have the ring on? I don't have my phone in the room with me, dog, when I'm recording. That's Why crazy. would it be in the room to interrupt me as That's I'm doing crazy. work? Why? Because if someone called, then I'll just cut out the time when somebody called and just keep going. No, no, John. That's going to interrupt my fucking flow. I have a flow. It's messing up my flow to answer a text. And I know it's going to be something Davis. It's going to be Chris explaining me why we can't hit another fucking Monday. I already know. So there's no point of me. When did I upload, actually? Last Monday. Before Tuesday, that. actually. Uh, like two weeks before that? Yeah, okay, that's, that's why. Yeah. What are you trying to say, bro? I was trying to figure out what was Chris' excuses, huh? Well, he be having excuses, man. No cap. Mm -hmm. He be having excuses. Oh, oh man. Not for long, though, bro. Yeah, I got a... Um, I got a drone that's watching him. I got I to hit the studio. Drake waiting on me. Oh, yeah, I heard. Certified lover boy. Yeah. Congratulations on that, by the way. Appreciate you, boy. Congratulations. Appreciate you, boy. That's big. I like to see you just really, you know what I'm saying, upend your contract and get out the way. You know so what I'm you saying? Can really that's cool. I'm, 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 I'm when you're dealing with real money like Drake, you know what I'm saying? You, it, contracts are con small tracks. You know I'm what I'm saying? Small tracks. Small tracks. That little, that little bitty contract you gave me ripped it up. <laughs> I'll give you the shredded <laughs> pieces. Now that don't matter no more. Yeah, it don't yeah, matter yeah, no more. Yeah. It, it don't. It don't. Imagine if that was the only copy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Shred it up. Uh, so shout out to my podcast people out there on all audio platforms, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, continue to rate us a five star. Also on YouTube, continue to, you know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave the comments down low, hit the link in the description to the Patreon to yeah. get that exclusive content. I thank y'all so much, man. Every single time I get an update on how many patrons we have, it is actually very impressive. I, I, I thank y'all so, so, so much. Um, but when you do all that, once you get done with all that, you get all that, you hit the comments, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the Patreon, mm -hmm. give us some money, mm -hmm. go back to YouTube, right? hit the notification bell, so you that. join, know the gang, 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 or gang, stay on Patreon, because there's going to be plenty of videos there. Hell yeah. Huh? There's going to be plenty of videos on the Patreon. But eventually come to back. To catch up on. But eventually come back. But hold on, hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting a call, hold on, hold on. This nigga's trying to troll. Los? <laughs> oh, shit, that's Los? Yeah, man. You're telling us what's up. Hey, what you doing? Nothing? Uh, I thought you were streaming us. I thought you were busy. I'll meet you when I get off this. You know what I'm saying? I got to gotta link up with Drake. I'll call you in a little bit. Yeah, ain't nothing crazy. Yeah, Lo said, what's up? He said, what's up, man? How you been? You done? You done, John? Huh? Are you done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to hit you back. Yeah, We're going to link. We're going to get some talk about some basketball. Like that. The more I think about it, the more, the more I keep looking at on Twitch. Having randomly, that was really low, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. You like, want to talk about some basketball? You got some ideas randomly. you want to play across? He said, I gave him an idea. No. He, he just ran with it. He was supposed to link one a while back, some dude. Ran, randomly getting 400 on uh, Twitch is actually more impressive than I, th I thought. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, any final words? No. John? Nah, I'm, I'm straight. I got some work to do. I got to call Los. I get outside. But at better reception. Um, and again, I just want to keep continue to thank y'all, man, to keep um, supporting us. Shout out to all the word about people as well on all other platforms. Um, been a um, really, really good stretch of podcast we've had recently. Yeah, Sersky. So, thank y'all, man.
<laughs> and uh, we'll see y'all next time, man. Shit, so. <laughs>